What is a QME? Why are they so important? And why can you not absolutely miss their appointment? My name is Bilal Kassam, Managing Partner at Pacific Workers. And today I'm going to explain what a QME is and how they affect your case and what are the consequences if you don't go through with it. To start, a QME stands for Qualified Medical Evaluator. This is different than your treating physician because a QME doesn't actually provide any treatment in your case. Their sole job is to evaluate you and write reports discussing things like whether or not your injury was caused by work, what your medical treatment needs are, whether you have permanent disability, and if you have any work restrictions that would prevent you from going back to work. A QME can be selected either by the insurance company or by the injured worker and their attorney depending on what the circumstances are. More often than not, the issue is related to either whether or not the injury happened at work, meaning whether or not your condition was caused by the mechanism of injury that you've alleged, or whether or not there's things like permanent disability, temporary disability, or need for medical treatment that are associated with your injury. And so these are generally the reasons that you'd go to a QME. A QME comes from a state-issued panel. Either side requests it from the state, and then either side gets to strike a doctor. The doctor that no one strikes serves as your QME. And so it's important to remember the QME is not necessarily on your side and not necessarily on the insurance company's side either. They don't work for anyone. They're supposed to be a neutral party, although we all know that they do play sides. And there's some doctors and some specialties that are typically more insurance-oriented than they are injured worker-oriented, and it goes the other way as well. So what happens at the QME evaluation? The QME ultimately takes a physical examination, a history, and looks at all your medical records, and after that, 30 days later, writes a report summarizing their opinions. Now, this report can often be very detailed, and more often than not, the courts rely on this report over your treating physician's report because your treating physician doesn't have the time to write long, what we call narrative reports, reviewing all your medical records. Typically, as you know, you go to a treating physician's office, it's the best 15 minutes of their day, maybe they give you some prescriptions, they do a couple of tests, and you're gone. So obviously, the court's going to look at that, uh, I guess, less favorably because it's not as detail-oriented than the QME report. Again, the QME's job is solely to evaluate you and write these reports. So they spend a lot more time on it because they're billing for it and also the insurance company's paying them to do it. So typically, the QME is a very important part of your case. And oftentimes, you can have a bad treating report that says that your injury didn't happen at work or that you're no longer entitled to benefits. And that's where the QME comes in and that's why it's so important that you attend the appointment. If you don't attend your QME appointment, you can be in a position where you don't have any medical evidence to combat the treating physician's opinion or the denial issued by the insurance company. In fact, the QME is the required legal process that you have to follow in order to challenge those things. In some circumstances, for example, if you have an attorney, you can actually go to an agreed medical evaluator instead of QME, but again, that's only if you have an attorney. So if you're either unrepresented or you do have an attorney and the other side doesn't want to agree, you're going to have to go to this QME if you wind up in a bad situation in your case where the insurance company has either denied your benefits entirely or partially or cut them off because the treating physician says that you're either no longer entitled to treatment or that you don't have any permanent disability or work restrictions and things like that. So again, the QME is the required process that you have to follow in order to move forward with your case in the event of some sort of denial of benefits, denial of the case, or ca 